Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing our like spring cleaning, whatever I was gonna call it, the kind of big declutter and organize. And um, I have done something, it's one of those things that you do it and you immediately think this is gonna be overwhelming and I never wanna do this ever again. Um, but it's, I have to do it. These are all my clothes. I mean, not quite. So I had some clothes in a different wardrobe that was in Ella's bedroom. I haven't seen these clothes in about 18 months. Um, so maybe some of them, I might have kind of shoved some summer clothes from last year into the wardrobe, but I got all of them out of that wardrobe, put them on this rail that we are in the hallway, in the, on the landing. These cannot stay here. This is not a permanent solution. Uh, what I thought I would do is now I've, I haven't even shown you, I've got new rails in the office. So remember last episode, I told you, um, I wanted to clean up the office and tidy it and organize it a little bit without spending any money on storage. Well, I did that in the first part, which you saw. In the second part, I was like, I'm gonna need those rails. Look at the state of this room. I've got all the clothes off this rail because I'm gonna hang the storage thing here. We'll see. Um, so I've got about an hour before we go out for lunch for Mother's Day. And I thought I'm gonna just make a start because the first part of this, kind of like a shelving rack system. So you buy these, I'm gonna call them trusses. I don't even know. This thing that goes on the wall and then everything connects to that now it did have a separate piece that you could buy which i just disagree with on principle because it was like a, a vert no a horizontal piece that went on the wall like that you then connected this to but as far as i can see looking at it and looking online the only purpose of that is to keep it level and i would be buying something i'd buy so many that was like 20 quids worth of these strut things I was just like, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna wing it, as is usually my way, try and get these straight on the wall. I need to have them exactly the right width apart so that I can put these shelving things on them. I, it could be a terrible idea that I didn't buy those things. This could all come down and I could have to go back and buy those, but 20 quid. The bow axle from Ikea, obsessed. We will talk about it at length at some point. But I now have tons of hanging storage in there. We will be testing it in terms of whether or not it will fall down because this is gonna be a lot of stuff. But I am gonna go through all of this stuff. I'm going to cull, I'm gonna have a declutter of my wardrobe. I'm gonna get rid of some things, get it in a donation bag, actually donate it, don't let it live in my car. And um, I'm going to effectively give myself a new wardrobe. We're shopping my closet today. Give myself a new wardrobe. I'm gonna take the stuff that I actually wanna keep put it in that closet, and then I'm gonna reshuffle the one that I've got in my wardrobe. It's all, it's all about keeping things fresh, making sure that I'm not keeping things that I'm never gonna wear again, um, and shaking it up without actually buying new things, even though I've bought more clothes in the past month than I have probably all of last year. I 
mistook you for a dream The engine glows And I guess you always seem to know Hello, Mona I push back the serious feeling The end's unknown To get back the life I used to know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know It's empty, it's empty, and then this is full. Um, I could still get rid of stuff, for sure. I mean, there's some specific things that stand out on there. So what I've done is, um, at the moment, I've got kind of like bulky coats, stuff I'm not going to need for a while, it's just up there. I don't need those on hand, I can reach them when I need to. Um, kind of jackets, then I've got a little, little sliver of Christmas there not getting rid of those things, they're just things that I have. A little sliver of Disney things, just in case. Sweatshirts, this is like all super party going out, like not gonna need it regularly. Then down here is not fully organized yet, but I did kind of summer dresses, skirts. This is just a multitude of things, which potentially I could still get rid of some stuff from here. And a huge pile to get rid of. As I said at the beginning, usually I put everything in a bag to donate and then it just lives in my car. So I'm gonna do that with some things, but some of the stuff I feel like is worth selling. I am not good with posting. I love Vinted in general. I think it's a fantastic service and I have sold things with Vinted, but I saw recently something where you could order like a bag and um, it was almost like consignment. So you send it all off and then they, if they sell it, you get a percentage of the sale. So I think I'm gonna try that. Actually, instead, I think I'm going to do this. There's a place near me at Lakeside and they give you 50p a kilo. And mostly it means that I can do it today. And it will actually like spur me on to be. That alarm tells me. You see, I can get so much done when I set an alarm. I was like, you've got 30 minutes to do X. And then you've got to do this other thing that is like a timed. I have to have an appointment to do something. Um, I would have waited until later in the day to do this. So timers. If you're a procrastinator, give yourself 30 minutes. You can get so much done in 30 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do the cash for clothes because it's instant and it might actually spur me on to actually get the bag of clothes out of my car. We'll see. I also have this other rack that's in my bedroom. So I'm gonna clear this. And this is the one that I'm kind of like, this is my daily dressing. This is what I'm like rotating an almost capsule wardrobe. Um, not because I want to have less stuff, but because I, it's just easier for me to dress in the morning if I'm choosing from less stuff. So I'm going to put all of this stuff in the office. Hello, Ramona. I'm going to find you the link and leave it below for this particular rack. I decided to put it all on here instead, just so it's a little bit easier to see. And you can see that tiny rack fits so much because this is a full size one. So before I do anything else, I realized the lighting is so bad because there's not, <laughs> nothing I can do. It's the sun. Um, I, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna kind of separate out the stuff that I know for sure is gonna stay in my like day to day. They are the slightly larger size. Well, put those to one side because I, I feel like I'm gonna wear those less. Um, I bought this, I wanna say at Christmas. And I've tried it on, but I've never actually worn it yet. But I, I wanna wear it. And a jacket that could go in the top section. Gray. This oh yeah. I bought this because I was gonna go to a Halloween party and then I didn't. And I never wore it. So maybe this should, I mean, it's not, this was like a seasonally inappropriate for now, isn't it? I bought it in like October, I think it's from Brave Soul. Again, I didn't. Don't even think I tried this on. Crazy. Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. I legit forgot I bought these. I bought these recently. 
recently. Right, so I just pulled out the stuff that most of this is, was in there. Before. Well, it was all in there before. But most of this was like beginning of the year. This is kind of how I started. And there's just a couple of new things like these joggers from New Look, which I'm really liking. Uh, and obviously the jeans that I'd forgotten because this had become over full. Uh, I maybe need a couple more bits, but this will be the base again. And then these are like my spring jackets. I'm coming to you from the future now um, to share with you Number one, my experience of selling my clothes with that uh, 50p per kilo. Just uh, let me show you this, this vlog footage. Right, this is where I'm going. It's at Lakeside in Doncaster. So I will let you know. Look at this. £2.80 for three massive bags of clothes. Milo's please. He's got some pocket money. Wait, really? But the real, yeah, but the real, this is really, like that's, like I've given him a huge amount of money. Um, the real benefit is that it, it's out of my car. I was, <laughs> I was motivated to actually get rid of it. You know, I have another for two pound um, eighty. Two pound coin, which means now I've got four pound. I'm, I'm actually rich. That's really exciting. And secondly, just to end this, just to end this, just to end this vlog. Um, effectively, I got rid of a ton of stuff. Three huge bags full of stuff. Uh, I'm kind of starting. I'm, I'm not. I'm never going to be a minimalist. I'm never going to be a capsule wardrobe person. I love those like rooms full of clothes that are like glitzy and sparkly and full of memories and when I go through my things and I'm like oh it's that skirt from that time and maybe I'll wear it again in 15 years that's how I want to be I want to keep the stuff that makes me happy I don't want to get rid of things just to be a minimalist I don't want to get rid of things because it's easier to dress I love my things I love my things so what I have done to kind of have a best of both worlds situation is that little rail that's in my bedroom, which makes it easier for me to dress. It means that I can kind of rotate things out as I want to. I can still keep all of my shiny sparkly things in this room um, that make me happy. And I can uh, have more of a kind of capsule wardrobe daily dressing rack in there. So I'm gonna share more of that. Um, as kind of the year progresses. Initially, I wanted to get into this from January and I thought this is a process. This is, I don't wanna rush. This is something that maybe by the end of the year, I can tell you, yes, I've got it, it's perfect. But as we go, I'm just gonna share. So we've, we, I started off with the rack. I started beginning of this year with a little rack of clothes that definitely made it easier for me to dress every day rather than just being like, pajama bottoms um, and leggings, which I was in the rest of this video. But I actually am getting dressed on a regular basis. Whereas previously it was very just like, oh, just cover my body rather than put on an outfit. Um, that's been a massive game changer for me. And now I've emptied all of that closet that was in the back of my mind. I do think I might have some other clothes stashed somewhere. So TBD on that one. But for now, huge, huge thing got out of the way in this one. Um, everything now is in here. I've got my new shelving, my new racks up here. I'm so, just so happy with them. Look at all my things. Look at all my things. Why, why is the trend that we have to get rid of all of our things? I love my things. Um, don't, you know, if you don't want to get rid of your things, don't be peer pressured. Don't be peer pressured. I have definitely got rid of things in the past that I wish I hadn't. I know if you're a hoarder, that's the worst thing to be told, but it's true. Sometimes you regret getting rid of things. Um, so now I'm trying hard to be a little bit more harsh with my decisions of like, do you really love this? Does it make you happy? If the answer is yes, then keep it. But a lot of the times it's not. And that's when you can get rid of it. I hope that this has been useful. Maybe it's kind of given you a little bit of a push to uh, do a declutter of your own. Uh, and it's, you know, we're just like one more step on the, on the way to feeling a little bit less cluttered and a little bit more organised. We're not even close to the finish line, but it's it's a steady, steady journey. To get back the life I used to know.